I still hear it frequently. People ask me, even people who are EV fans, they say, how long will batteries last for? How long will the battery pack in this car last for? You can't know exactly, of course. And often electric car haters will say, EV batteries just don't last long enough. You're gonna have to replace that battery. That's gonna cost you so much money. Are you insane? What are you thinking buying an electric car? Yeah, of course, we all know that's ludicrous. In fact, electric car batteries almost always outlast the life of the car. I've been saying this now for a long time. Some people say that I'm just speaking in a hyperbolic fashion by making that claim, even though it's very obviously true. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. So what am I talking about here? Is it actually true what I've been claiming all this time? Well, it is. A recent study from Canadian telematics company Geotab says that the vast majority of EV batteries will outlast the life of electric cars. It's worth pointing out that uh, Cadle, the biggest battery company in the world, who the Chinese government say have a monopoly on the battery industry, uh, their new batteries will last, they're guaranteed to last for 1 million kilometers or 600,000 miles, but not just to last for that long, but to have 85% of their original battery capacity remaining at a million kilometers. They predict these batteries will last for at least 1.5 million kilometers, so about 1 million miles. They also have a, another battery with high energy density. In fact, it's a very high energy density lithium ion phosphate battery. It's intended for uh, commercial purposes, taxis, those sorts of things. Now that battery pack has an energy density of 200 watt hours per kilogram, which is an LFP battery, very high for an LFP battery. And even that is guaranteed to last for 800,000 kilometers. So new battery packs are getting better and better. We know there's lots of Teslas around now that have more than 400,000 miles on the clock. New Tesla Model 3s, not Model Ys yet because they're not uh, they're not old enough yet to have done that distance. But there's a fair few Model 3s in my tracker. I'm tracking tracking them, trying to, trying to keep tabs of what they're up to. We know that they've done over 400,000 miles on the same battery. Now the firm's findings in Canada stand in contrast to the persistent anti-EV argument that electric vehicle batteries will only last a few years before they've got to be thrown out, gotten rid of, they're sitting and gathering dust in rotting fields in China. You've all heard the nonsense. There's some famous Chinese YouTubers. I wish someone would like report them to YouTube for making all this stuff up because it's so ridiculous. Why is it so ridiculous, this concept of having these you know, EVs with their rotting batteries? Well, for one, black mass is worth 10,000 US dollars per tonne. The average battery pack weighs half a ton, meaning the average battery just recycled is worth 5,000 US dollars. It's a little gold mine. I mean, imagine if there was these rotting fields of EVs, batteries, you could just go go along there, pick up all the cars, take them to the, the, the battery recyclers, and these, these places do exist, and you'd be looking at getting millions of dollars. It's just free money sitting around. No one is that stupid, right? So economically, financially, these claims don't make any sense. Now, here's the thing. You can also see other anecdotal evidence. I know it's anecdotal. Things like eBay listings. There's eBay listings that sell Tesla batteries, right? That have come out of Tesla vehicles and they've literally sold millions of dollars worth of secondhand Tesla batteries. Millions of dollars. And I've been tracking this, looking on eBay now for years and years and years. Tesla batteries are extremely valuable secondhand. So, even completely destroyed vehicles, as long as the battery pack is still decent shape and still operational, those vehicles are still quite valuable. Now the firm published estimates as an update to a 2019 analysis about EV battery degradation. Geotam's 2019 study said that EV batteries were degrading at an average of 2% per year. The firm's recent blog post, which included updated data, an analysis from fleet usage says that EV batteries are now degrading at only 1.8%. They're saying basically degradation has gone from 2.3% to 1.8% per year. Cadle's new battery pack, they say, is guaranteed to have zero battery degradation after the first two years of driving. Now, this may be a mistranslation from China, but that's what they're saying. Two years, zero battery degradation. Now, normally, the most battery degradation you get is in the first 12 months. And after that, battery degradation actually slows down significantly. Considering EV batteries are now degrading at only claimed 1.8% per year on average, 
GeoTAP says that EV batteries could still have over 80% of their health after 12 years. Overall, the company estimated that EV batteries could last 20 years or more at their current average degradation rate. According to our data, the simplest answer is that the vast majority of batteries will outlast the usable life of the vehicle and will never need to be replaced. If an average EV battery degrades at 1.8% per year, it will still have over 80% state of health after 12 years, generally beyond the usual life of a fleet vehicle. Now, of course, some battery packs will degrade more than that. It depends on the chemistry, depends on the battery management software, it depends on how much the vehicle is used, depends on how much how it's charged and how that, that particular battery responds to that type of charging. But this is the average fleet-wide. So the average fleet-wide is over 80% after 12 years. So if you're thinking about buying a new EV and you're on the fence, well, that's some pretty compelling evidence, especially considering that after 12 years, most internal combustion engines need a major overhaul. Electric vehicle batteries do sometimes need replacement, but it's very rare. And battery packs have an eight year warranty from almost all manufacturers. Now, Cadel, they're saying their new battery packs will have a 15 year warranty. Um, I believe another manufacturer in China is coming up with a, coming up with a similar warranty as well. So even with only eight years, that's still a longer warranty than any internal combustion engine has by, made by any manufacturer. I don't know any manufacturer that has an eight year global warranty on their internal combustion engine. And keep in mind, engines cost about as much to replace in many cases as a new battery pack. New LFP battery packs are incredibly affordable. You don't have to buy the ones from the consumer. You can buy um, refurbished ones from Tesla. You can buy uh, battery packs. You can even get your own battery pack fixed. Sometimes it's just a few cells that are dead and you can just replace those cells and it's good to go. There's all different options. But my point is here that batteries last a very long time. They have the longest warranty of pretty much any automotive product you can buy and they're only getting better and better. Geotab's EV battery degradation study included a number of other interesting insights, says Tazarati, including the fact that high-use electric vehicles don't really exhibit significantly higher battery degradation than others. Now, that data is primarily from Tesla owners, and it comes from a recurrent study. So that's not necessarily going to be the case with your whatever EV you have if it's a non-Tesla vehicle, because we don't have a whole ton of data yet. The firm did say that there is an observable difference in battery health between cars that routinely charge on level two compared to those that use level one. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that means because I wouldn't have thought level two charging, which is kind of signifies 22 kilowatt versus level one, which is probably an average of about five to seven, three to seven kilowatt. I wouldn't have thought there'd be any difference whatsoever. And Recurrent said that there was no difference between supercharging and non-supercharging your, your Tesla EV but there may be a difference for other legacy automakers' electric cars. Either way, this is great news for everyone when it comes to batteries. It's great news because we can also use this information to try and shut down some of these idiots who claim that EV batteries will be dead within a few years. And I actually seen these comments within the last few weeks. Your EV battery, these are actually these comments are everywhere all over the internet, will be dead within a few years. What are you gonna do then? You're going to be screwed. You're going to have to pay $30,000 for a new battery pack. Well, all of that is just utter nonsense. It's a narrative invented by basically legacy auto, fossil fuels, and the media in order to slow down the uptake of electric cars. Thanks for watching.